but you know that this time is different. We are going to learn English with the most respected man in America. Myself wondering what did happen to the last ten. I ran away with my life, fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. life and it was because of his faith to God. And he swallowed me back up because I had been deflated. And I took that box right back in and I said, Tom, hey man, I'm really funny. I'm going to make it. He said, I'll tell you what, you leave out this door, don't ever come back in here again. Swallow someone back up. Push someone back in order to talk with him or her in a private place to give him an offer. I'm going to make it. It means... I'm gonna be successful at what I'm doing. It's a kind of motivational sentence when you want to assure yourself that you're really going to be best. You can jack it all the way up and you can turn around and get it right. Do you understand that? Do you understand that you could have had a baby out of wedlock and still be all right? Do you know that you can be divorced multiple times and still be okay? Do you understand that you cannot have a degree and still be just fine? You want to know how I know? Because I'm telling you what I know. Jack something up. It's a phrasal verb and you use it when you waste someone's time by deliberately making things difficult for them. In this case, I hope you never use this in English. Born out of the wedlock. If a child is born out of wedlock, its parents are not married when it is born. For example, the young mother had two children born out of wedlock. Multiple. It's a noun and it means a number that contains a smaller number and exact number of times. You can use several, plenty or many instead too. Have a degree. Well, if you think it means a unite for measuring temperature, well, this time you are wrong. It's a phrase, and it means a course of study at a university or college or the qualification that is given to you when you have successfully completed the course. Cause. It's a kind of way to pronounce words because in native accents. But in general, we can say a person, event, or thing that makes something happen. God is really with you. 
You ain't gotta believe me. You ain't gotta believe me. You ain't gotta believe. Look at the way Steve pronounced this sentence. Ah, this is a pure accent from the bottom of America. But now, what does ain't mean? Ain't is a short form of am not, is not, are not, has not, or have not that many people think is incorrect. And we have gotta. It's short form of have got to, has got to. For example, we gotta go now. Now, thanks for watching my video till end and don't forget to like and subscribe my video, please.